what is going on YouTube? Your boy Paul is about to fish a nice lake. I mean, it's not a lake. It's like an over oversized pond that I can put my fast boat in. You cannot use, you cannot use the big motor in there. I don't know why they got it like that. I guess because it's like, it's not really, it's not very big and they don't want to have that much like gas chemicals in the water and stuff. But I mean, this lake get pressure, pressure and pressure. I mean, it'd be a lot of people out here fishing, bass fishing, cat fishing. Real fish, there'd be a lot of people out here, but I'm thinking it's not gonna be that many people out here because it just got through raining for like three, four hours straight. <laughs> it's actually going to rain another hour, so but yeah, it is 54 degrees outside. 54 degrees <laughs> that's not that's not too cold, but it is it's 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 cold to the bass, like they know it's going to affect them a lot. But I mean, what will I be throwing? I mean, it's overcast, so I might end up throwing. I might end up throwing some top water. It's not too too cold. I mean, the water temp is probably like 65 degrees. The air temp is like 54. The water temp is probably like 60, 62, 65 degrees. So there might be munching on top water. I mean, we we going to see. I'm definitely going to throw some big worms out there, some jigs, chatter baits, and I probably go with like a scrub bill, deep diving. No, that's not going to work. That's not gonna work because um, I don't think that water is that deep so I can throw some um, deep diving cranks in there. And the last time I fished it, it is like, have like a um, mushy bottom, so that's definitely not gonna work. But yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys when I'm out there unloading the boat. Uh, so just getting out here. It's one, two, three, four, four people on the other side bait fishing, but guys, look how that wind blowing. You see it boy it's blowing towards me so i'm definitely going to fish this side first because it's pushing all them bait fish on this side all them shad and stuff so let's go ahead and get this boat unloaded look at that bull crap guys no gas engines no gas engines like what why let's go ahead and get unloaded i need to do that i need to put the stop in you guys think i need to stop in i don't think so I do not think so. <sighs> Come on out of there, baby. Okay, okay. I hate my tires, man. It's shooting mud all on the side of my boat because they stick out so far. Dang. I need to get I need to take these spacers off. I might end up taking the spacers off of my truck. Because look at the side of my boat. Just keep on shooting mud on it. Alright, got my boat unloaded. Here she go right here. Guys, I actually do YouTube for y'all, man. I could I can monetize my videos right now, but I haven't. I don't even got my videos monetized, man. So I'm basically just doing this for free. I don't even like care if I have thousands of followers. Like at one point, I was like, man, I have to make it. Man, I gotta do this and that. I gotta get this money. But to be honest, bro, I do not care about none of that like none of that i'm basically doing this for you for y'all all right guys now just getting out here it looked terrible man it looked depressing out here <laughs> just look up guys just look up look at that it just looked depressing i'm going to start off with my chatter Go ahead and start over my chatter bait. Guys, I hate fishing. I hate fishing like moving bait sitting down, man. I freaking hate it. I was fishing with somebody. I was fishing with somebody. He was like, he was like literally like fishing the whole time sitting down and like catching fish. I'm like, dude, props to you, man. Look, I cannot set a freaking hook. I cannot set a freaking hook sitting down. I cannot. So hopefully we can find some of these homie bass in here. Guys, I actually got destroyed right there. Like soon I cast it there. Soon I cast it there. He picked it up immediately. I thought I was hung and I was trying to like yank it off. And he just ran off. I set the hook and missed him. There's some good sized fish in here guys, but it just gets fish a lot. I mean, it's supposed to rain 
hard in like an hour and it's still like one two three four five six people out here six people out here think about on the sunny days guys how many people be out here it's no telling it is no telling guys i literally threw in this same spot like four times back to back you have to make these fish hit man like you got to throw back there pop pop you got to make these fish like react make them react i mean you can catch fish you can like all right throw back there you can catch fish just slow rolling but i mean majority of the fish looking at that like oh, okay they just oh got one got one oh man i'm daggone trying to freaking describe this is not a bad one it's not a bad one what the freak is this man this is a catfish guys this is a catfish he freaking nailed it what the heck come on man let me get you off the hook freaking catfish that's crazy guys that is crazy <laughs> but what i was saying like you can catch fish slow rolling but you have to make these fish let me get out the tree so i can explain myself you have to make the fish hit like one jerk jerk one jerk jerk or you could do this retrieve right here one slow speed it up one slow speed it up stop it and then just repeat that god you definitely going to catch them like that i mean you can like always catch fish slow rolling but so many fish look at that bait be like man that, that's not natural right there i'm gonna leave that alone they're like i'm gonna leave that alone so every now and then i kind of do a little pop pop or speed it up that's how like i catch all my fish using a chowder bait dude that catfish freaking nailed it thought it was a nice size bass how he was fighting he was fighting just like a bass i should have asked do they want it because i'm not keeping no fish i never keep fish guys we got some structure in front of me look like some grass down there guys in my last video somebody was like where's your live wheel door dude it blew off like i'm going down the highway and like i get to a gas station the door is missing so it blew off somewhere i'm gonna have to make another door it's not i mean it's nothing too bad like if it was a big door back there i would have been like ah man i need to go find that but it's one of the small um circle doors i mean not circle freaking square doors nothing too serious i could always make one of those but guys dealing with the technique i show y'all right then it's for like summertime fall not winter i mean you could catch some fish doing it in the winter you want to do that slow retrieve dealing with the winter you want to do that set that steady like no jerking like no speeding it up like that steady retrieve that's how i caught that's how i catch all my winter fish all my winter fish steady retrieve i don't do no like tackler stuff jerk jerk paws i don't do none of that i just do a steady retreat dealing with like the winter but i mean this water is not it's not that cold that the fish don't really like want to hit they still active in here they still chasing bait fish getting full on bait fish and stuff like that so you want to do that that speed up jerk jerk on dealing with 60 60 and up dealing with the water too 60 and up all right one more cast and i might switch up to like a worm something that can like drag the bottom because we're sitting at probably like seven foot right here and i'm gonna cast towards 12 o'clock in front of me cast up there because i think the bass not directly on the bank 
They sitting in that in that slope. They sitting in that like in that channel. Yep, here's one right here. Stay down, baby. Stay down. Another freaking catfish. Is you serious? Is you freaking serious? Is you freaking serious, man? Another freaking catfish, guys. What is the catfish form? Like, what the hell? What in the heck? They really hitting the chowder bait. Like, that's some weird stuff right there, guys. Two catfish off the chowder bait. What in the heck? Guys, comment y'all weirdest catch ever. Comment y'all weirdest catch ever. I'm literally catching catfish on a chowder bait, guys. On a chowder bait. What the heck? I might have just like fish until I get to that point. Then I'm gonna switch up to my worm and drag the bottom. All right, let me throw that um that worm. Man, this freaking giant I haven't been through. This thing is beat up, guys. I'm saying beat up to heck. Kind of suck, guys, because like most of all my salt plastic got wet last night. It's literally like probably like a hundred bags of salt plastic that got damaged, water damage. So I need to wait until the sun to come out. So I'm waiting for the sun to come out so I can go ahead and like set them out so the sun can dry the water out because it's like that's probably over like $300 salt plastic water damage somebody walking down here you call the thing yet yeah, I one in that over there, oh there. okay i'll let you fish all of this huh? i said i'll let you fish all of this you all? uh chowder bait <clears throat> Um, green pumpkin. Just missed one, guys. Dang. Freaking missed one. Felt like a small one, but then again, couldn't tell. He hit multiple times, like, do 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 do. Come on. Got my bait tangy in some line. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Y'all need to do better than this. All right, guys. I've been throwing this crank for like 30 minutes straight. No bites. Threw my worm a couple times. Had one bite. So I might have just beat the bank with a jig and just see what I can get off that. I mean, I have nothing else in mind but to catch these fish on. I threw China bait, caught that with catfish. Threw a crank bait, no luck. Threw a worm, probably like a good 35, 40 minutes, one bite. So I'm gonna just switch it up to the jig and see how that goes. It is super tough out here. I mean, hey, if I was like one of the other YouTubers that really don't know how to fish, I'd go to a stop pun or like a private pun and like just kill the freaking bass left and right. I mean, I'm not that YouTuber guy, super. I'm one of the ones that will grind, grind and show you guys what the bass hitting. If they hitting this certain type of way, throw this certain type of bait, I'm that type of person. I'm like one of the helpers. YouTube. I'm not one of the ones that go to like private puns and 
and like literally catch every single fish in there. And I mean, that's, that, that take no skills. I could take my girlfriend in there to a private pond or like a stop pond and like literally like catch fish back to back. That's not, that's not fun to me, to be honest. I don't like catching fish that's in a stop pond or a private pond. Don't get me wrong, I would fish it if somebody be like, hey, I have a stop pond, you wanna fish it? Yeah, heck yeah, I'll fish it, but I won't do no video because I mean, it's it's basically like a waste of time because you're really not, you're really not learning, learning from that. You're just throwing every single bait in your box and catching fish. I mean, that's, that's really not fun. Well, to me guys, I'm talking for me, not for you guys. To me, it's not fun at all. I love fishing like places like this that been fished out. I love the grind. I just love it, guys. I just like I just love fishing like hard punts, hard lakes. It's a challenge. It is a challenge for me. It's a challenge. It's gonna help me in the long run. It's gonna help me for my tournaments. It's gonna help me catching bigger fish. It's just, it's just gonna help me. It, it's gonna help me overall. I love it. But what I was saying, the the um subscribers like when i first started my youtube and like instagram you guys know me i always post my grinds i always post my grinds i don't do it for content i do it to show you guys good fishermen like literally struggle too you're not gonna go out here and catch here go one yep yep here's one stay down baby stay down not a bad one. Not a bad one. Oh, heck yeah. Dick. Easy, easy to. Oh, this is a three pounder right here, guys. Yeah, that's a three pounder. Spit her in the log wheel. I kind of um, turned my boat towards that way and I scan it all right there. It's a lot of structure right here. I actually, I don't feel it though. I'm thinking it's, it's just like tall grass like that. And I'm just like weaving through the grass. Heck yeah. Now that's a good one. See what I was saying when I first got out here, these bass are stuck up under that, the little um, china that run down here. That's why I caught her at, right there on that china. Soon it dropped down, she nailed it. Here's it. Oh, this one picked it up and dropped it. Wow. So there might be on a so it might be a jig bike today. Here's one. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow. I literally skipped under that tree right there. Nailed it. All right, guys, I didn't have this recording. I just got broken off. And my favorite jig is gone. <sighs> got broken off and my favorite jig is gone. And I don't know what brand that jig was. I don't know what size it was. Man, that just, this, this, that just sucks, man. Black and blue with purple strings on it my favorite jig. So I'm gonna have to go online tonight, try to find that, that same exact jig. Cause I caught multiple fish on that jig. Damn. It's gone, man. 
And it's gone. I wouldn't care if it, if it was like a, another jig, like a Guggen Squad jig, Strike King jig, but no, man, I caught multiple good sized fish on that jig. All right, guys, only one keeper, good three pounds. Yeah, she was about three pounds. Wish I could have got the one that freaking broke me off. 